Significant progress has been made on this home. When we paid our third visit to this ambitious project, we moved on to framing and roofing. Tim, we're back here at the house and what progress the students and you have made when we were here the last time. The foundation wasn't down, the walls and part of the roof, things are coming together. Things are really coming together now. It, it's amazing how fast the house goes up and goes together. You really start to notice big changes when you start looking at, you know, once the walls and the trusses and stuff go up. But we've done a, a lot of really cool things in the, in the project this year. Um, we're, we're trying to go as green as we possibly can and do as much as we can to save energy. Um, the floor we actually have set up and it's uh, got a, a one foot grid of plastic tubing and all of the liquids that run down through the floor is actually what provides the heat uh, for the whole entire house. It will have a, like a backup boiler and, a, and an air conditioning unit that will help to cool it and do some other things if we have some severe, but for the most part, everything is all taken care of through that in-floor heat. It all radiates up out of the floor. That's amazing, Tim. Again, all the plastic tubing that went in yep. here, and it was really laid strategically, correct? Yes, and they have to have the runs set up in a certain way so that only a, a certain distance of, of plastic pipe goes. So, for example, if they all have a run of 100 feet, then they'll have to go back to the main unit and then start out with another 100-foot unit and then back and forth. So it keeps it a constant temperature for everything. That helps to regulate a nice, even temperature. Tim, we like that. And let's talk about the walls and the insulated walls that are, you're going to be using. Okay. The wall system we're using is called a T wall wall and it's a, it's a little bit different than your regular 16 inch on center uh, stud spacing. Um, what, what they have found out is if you use a, a stud that goes all the way across the air and the coolness can transfer from the outside of the house through that stud and into the house. So what they've done with this one is they've turned the studs sideways and then they put a, a strip of styrofoam insulation in between them and then it, it doesn't let the heat transfer back and forth. They're also uh, 24 on center so that saves a little bit of material. Um, and then they, once we get all the walls and stuff up, they'll be able to run all the, the wiring, the plumbing and everything through that styrofoam area, which keeps it again nice and, and uh, even with that coolness as it comes through or uh, away from the walls. And then we'll actually then, uh, like say, foam it all afterwards with a, a spray-in foam. And what really works great about the spray-in foam is you, you don't lose the air the air pressure that comes from in, inside and outside of the house. When air comes through the outside, that's where that air transfers through. And with just your typical fiberglass insulation, it, there's air pockets and it allows that air to go through. With a blown insulation, it actually closes up every single crack and, and place where air can flow. And again, you're gonna be going in and blowing in that insulated wall. And you were also telling me about the, the, the roof yes, as well. Yes, they're actually gonna use what they call a, like a warm roof. And what they'll do is they'll spray that same foam that we use in the walls. They'll spray an 18 inch, 12 to 18 inches of, of foam up on the ceiling. And then basically that leaves your attic completely cool. There's no need for vents or, or ridge vents or, or eave vents or anything like that because the inside environment up there will be nice and cool to again save that electricity in the summertime and, and keep that, that heat away from the inside of the house. Energy efficiency, yep. with, which we like. You'll, you're making it so tight it'll be quieter. Right? right, yeah. So once the house gets built and the windows and stuff are all installed and once, once you actually get in here, the living space, you can't hear cars and stuff go by on the outside. It's, it's really a nice, quiet environment. It's, it's really neat to see all the different things that are available. It costs a little more money, you know, up front, but there's so many things available, and, and the kids can see why we don't waste things. Yeah, and saving dollars down, down the road. Down the road, yeah, it just saves immensely. Yeah. That's great. You've got uh, today eight or nine students that are working with you, and again, what a great experience yep. for the students. Yep, and again, those students come from not just, you know, the school that I teach at, but they also come from, you know, the surrounding areas. So what we try to do with those kids is give them a taste or a flavor of all the different types of um, trades that are here. They'll get to do the construction part with me. They'll also get to work with the, the electricians to pull wire and, and do some of those kind of things. They'll work with the plumbers for how they pull pipe, why they pull pipe, you know, what kind of pipe they use. When the, the HVAC guys come in, they'll actually be able to help them run the pipes and, and, and duct work for that kind of stuff. When the, the stone and block layers come, they'll actually get to help them, you know, with some of the stone stuff. We went down to EBD and the company who provided the walls and the trusses, and they actually allowed us to come into the plant and we helped build walls. And the kids got to go in and, and see what it was like. And several of them they offered jobs to if they want them. So, you know, it's a case where you, it's just, there's so many opportunities and so much there for the kids to, to see. It, it's not just a, a, a summer project. It's not just like going to work for a Habitat for Humanity kind of thing. It's, there's careers here. So it's really just a neat way for the kids to see all of the trades, not just 
the carpentry end of it. An overall experience in terms of the construction of a house. Yep, exactly. There's just a lot of opportunity, a lot of great opportunities for the kids to, you know, see the work, do the work, and then continue that later on. And it's neat for Powerhouse to see this come along uh, through the process of building this. Again, greenhouse and certainly energy efficient. And very, very fast going up.